Bentornati ragazzi sul canale e si continua con Starfield Allora siamo arrivati alla loggia o meglio su Nuova Atlantide eh, Non ho ben capito la fazione qui, ah è una um, struttura UCI mm, Cos'è una colonia? And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Ah, uh, mille crediti. Eh, ma... Aspetta. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. I crediti. Quanti ne abbiamo? Ok. Need some work done? Devo riparare la nave. Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. Ah, eh, infatti. E allora perché mi dà l'opzione? Vabbè. Dove posso cercare altri membri dell'equipaggio per l'equipaggio della mia nave? I would try to viewport. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Just check out the trade authority kiosk next to my booth. Wise, there's Jemison Mercantile further in. Just check out the trade authority kiosk next to my booth. Otherwise, there's Jemison Mercantile further in. Vendi Allora eh No questi però sono per creazione Quindi mm. No Al momento niente A proposito Allora Inventario Casco spaziale e clip. Beret vuole che porti il manufatto e i suoi colleghi di Constellation. Per il viaggio mi cederà la sua nave, la Frontier e il suo robot basco.
quartiere del TASM Allora, abbiamo un bel po' di roba qua. Dunque... Quartiere del TASM of your abilities and to uphold the values. Welcome to MAST. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. This, this is MAST, the beating heart of the United Colonies. Every decision made in the civilized galaxy takes place inside these walls. I'm one of MAST's resource officers. It's my job to ensure those here on official business get where they're going promptly, and that any rule-breaking is dealt with swiftly. Most of MAST's employees have extensive training in their specific areas of expertise. But if you're interested in joining the UC, Commander Tuala of the Vanguard is just on the far side of the room. The Vanguard's open to anyone who can fly. Parla al comandante Tuala per unirti all'avanguardia. Mm. Stay safe. Vabbè ci parliamo, ci parliamo un'altra volta city but constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been here we are the lodge the front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you I have messaged the I do not understand your attachment to all these objects Captain, 
Everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something now. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. Sara. What to talk about? Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? So something did happen. Barrett mentioned a loss of consciousness last time he found an artifact. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Katri? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Cosa sapete dei manufatti? Cosa sono? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Va bene, sono dei vostri. Spiegami cosa succede adesso. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Okay.
Eh, questi qua li devo vendere, eh. Pesano un po' troppo. Sacred relics recently? Ha ha. I don't do that kind of thing anymore. So much to do around here, you know? I wasn't born. Allora. Dunque. Il vecchio quartiere. Sarra voleva parlarmi della mia prima missione. Attività. Parla degli, alloggi agli all degli alloggi con Noel. Parra al comandante Tuala per unirti all'avanguardia, ok? E questo l'abbiamo concluso, va bene. Ok. Yesterday, you know. I know everyone's excited by the artifice, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Ok. Ci sono altri in possesso di manufatti? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. 
They're looking for places to settle. Resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Ammetto di provare una certa eccitazione. La mia prima missione. Felt the same way when I started too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Okay. Parliamo degli alloggi. Artifacts won't find themselves, and us going after them means fuel repair. No, that was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think of it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you, and thank you for bringing. Mi ha detto che c'è posto per me. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Okay. Have you talked to Vladimir recently? Face the Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Of course, there's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Hmm. Consulta la bacheca missioni di Constellation. Oh right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. 
I'm not saying you didn't really see anything, just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Stay safe, okay? I hope you are sad. No, me devi. Consulta la bacheca missioni di Constellation. Slide with the quarters available to you. di ricerca consente di scoprire nuovi progetti di fabbricazione completando progetti di ricerca per portare avanti un progetto di ricerca occorrono dei materiali i materiali necessari possono variare da minerali grezzi estratti dai pianeti a sostanze organiche estratte da creature piante aliene a componenti fabbricati presso i banchi da lavoro industriali Ok, madonna ragazzi, c'è un sacco da fare in questo gioco. Farmacologia. Miglioramento prestazioni. Trattamento medico. Ah, ok, dobbiamo aggiungere i componenti, va bene.
Transmission Board. Trova biosfera malata presso Lunara. Cerchiamo un esploratore esperto che individui un pianeta con biosfera malata nel sistema seguente. Lunara. Potrebbe essere necessario ispezionare diversi pianeti all'interno del sistema. Le missioni che richiedono di localizzare un interratto planetario sono le più impegnative tra le missioni di rilevamento. Doverrai setacciare un intero sistema stellare alla ricerca di un pianeta ideale. Individua i pianeti del sistema stellare che presentano tratti. Ciò è indicato in fondo alla scheda informativa del pianeta della mappa stellare. I pianeti per i quali il rilevamento non è stato ancora completato presenteranno tratti ignoti. Sbaglio mi sta seguendo. We need to talk to John to up in mast. Ask whatever you'd like. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession. But you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. Ok, then. So long. Beh? Non mi segue più. It's you and me from here out. Bye bye. Ok. Parla con il contatto di Sara All'avanguardia Che è poi anche dove dobbiamo attivare questa missione
Devo liberarmi di un po' di robe Più siamo pesanti Più ossigeno consumiamo Ah, uh, un altro space explorer Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Excellent. Just need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, a knock out an exam, and a probationary mission. We need to know you'll be able to hack it out there after all. Do well. You'll be out there keeping the peace in no time. Don't forget, John. I need him back after you wrap him in that fancy getup of yours. No worry, Sarah. I'm not forgetting about you or our little business afterwards. Promise. First things first. Head down to the orientation hall. Get signed up at the registration terminal. System will walk you through the rest. Oh, if you got a bounty? Well, you're gonna have to make things right with the UC before we'll let you join. But if you've got any questions, I can... Ok Get you sorted The process starts with registration down in the orientation hall Right Got so wound up bringing you on board I almost forgot No, oh, I haven't Come on John, let's hear it Before you try to convince him to join the marines All right, here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Hey, vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? Easy there, John. We all have our sore points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right, I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Soul system is a lot of planets. But at like Moera, we'll be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Yeah, bring a coloring book. Get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. Okay. Only that. Allora, dunque. Dobbiamo trovare l'avanguardia Moara che potrebbe essere in possesso di un manufatto. L'ultima volta che è stato visto stava perlustrando il sistema solare. Prima facciamo questa qua, dunque. Candidiamoci per l'avanguardia. Entrando nell'avanguardia dell'Unione Coloniale, accetti di svolgere servizi indispensabili per l'UC che potrebbero metterti in serio pericolo causando potenziali danni a te o alla tua nave, con fin anche il rischio di morte. Consenso documentato. Puoi procedere alla camera di esame attraversando la sala di orientamento. 
registration accepted. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall, or continue on to the examination. In 2050, humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history, the age of the United Colonies. The effort and planning it must have taken to evacuate literally the entire world. Can you imagine the logistics? From their foundation, the United Colonies strove to provide all their citizens with opportunity, security, and peace. Among the UC that still wanted something more independence. So in 2161, the UC issued the Centaurus Proclamation, granting UC citizens the right to settle distant worlds and form their own sovereign powers. It wasn't long before the first new faction, the Free Star Collective, was formally organized in 2180, <coughs> later followed by House Varun revealing themselves to the universe in 2230. The result of the Centaurus proclamation has always left me torn. La storia della guerra di Narion. A partire dal 2196, la guerra di Narion, il primo conflitto su larga scala tra le stelle viene ricordato come momento decisivo per i sistemi colonizzati come prima grande guerra che vede l'ampio uso di astronavi abilitate al gravisalto la guerra di Narion fu caratterizzata non tanto da battaglie spaziali decisive quanto da una prolungata alternanza di schermaglie tra due grandi potenze ante le quali la marina UC, ben equipaggiata e addestrata Cerco più e più volte di mettere alle corde la frammentata Mascalter Flotta Freestar. Incapace di sconfiggere il collettivo in modo definitivo, Lucic Zorse ricorse a tattiche sempre più drastiche per farlo capitolare, ma senza successo. Dopo lunghi anni di guerra privi di risultati concreti, la stessa popolazione dell'UC iniziò a ribellarsi alla causa con proteste che scoppiarono perfino a Nuova Atlantide, in cui i cittadini chiedevano a gran voce che il conflitto si concludesse pacificamente. Così quando venne infine inferto il tanto agognato colpo di grazia con la marina UC che accerchiò e nientò la flotta Freestar, nel 2216 la vittoria fu vana. Dai successivi negoziati culminati col trattato di Narion che emersero i sistemi colonizzati come il, il conosciamo oggi, in senso letterale e figurato. Finché avesse vinto la guerra, Lucci si ritrovò in una posizione scomoda, dipinta come brutale aggressore anche nei suoi sistemi d'origine. Per questo, in uno spirito di unità e pace e duratura, Lucci accolse le richieste del collettivo Freestar e dei coloni di Narion la cui cospirazione aveva dato origine al conflitto e cedette Narion al collettivo come era stato preteso all'inizio delle ostilità inclusa la stazione spaziale medica nota come la clinica delineando così il collettivo Freestar come lo conosciamo oggi in cambio Lucia avanzò due pretese primo il risarcimento dei danni subiti sotto forma di diritti minerari su molteplici pianeti disseminati per la galassia la seconda richiesta ben più importante fu che nessuna fazione potesse colonizzare più di tre sistemi. A Lucci sarebbero andati Alpha Centauri, il sistema solare e Lupo, mentre il collettivo Freestar avrebbe controllato Seyen, Voili e Nario. Il collettivo accettò i termini fondando e sancendo per la legge 
i sistemi colonizzati odierni. Da allora il trattato di Narion costituisce le fondamenta di tutte le relazioni politiche contemporanee e la sua unica violazione ufficiale è stata causa del più grande conflitto che abbia mai investito la galassia, la guerra coloniale. Per saperne di più sulla guerra coloniale passa al murale Conflitto tra le stelle. House Varun forces declared all out war on the rest of human civilization, initiating the Serpent's Crusade. Over the next 23 years, thousands of Freestar, UC, and independent souls were killed by agents of House Varun in the name of their Serpent God. It was only with the death of their founder in 2263 and the succession of his heir, Jarek, that House Varun finally sued for peace. There remains, however, select members of House Varun who refuse to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification, the goal of all space. Of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Nerion Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bioengineered alien creatures. The infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding evidence. The colony war was a horrible conflict that irreparably wounded the civil systems. <sighs> there were times I felt that it would never... The few settled worlds were left untouched by the colony war. But nowhere could the viciousness of modern warfare be seen more clearly than on the free star planet of Nera. Initially occupied by invading United Colonies forces as a forward operating position, Repeated attempts to take and retake the planet by collective forces led only to devastation. Swaths of the world were transformed into scorched husks, a nightmarish testament to the depths of human ingenuity and human cruelty. And today, Nera remains a continuing reminder to the horrors of unfettered war. I bring her here almost every day to stare at this thing. No one knows how they move between planets. I really hope I this is just a grab jump or something. In the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort. Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city, seemingly out of nowhere, on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city. The outbreak 
and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. Okay. After the devastation brought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Ve Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the Seven galaxy at long last. Shift. It's a strong support for the Assume! It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one's citizenship. But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of living controls mean citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property, getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here, in the heart of galactic civilization, as a citizen of the United Colonies. Oh. Abbiamo finito questa infinita lezione sullo, sulla formazione dell'UC e della, della battaglia con... Uh, ehm, come si chiama? Il collettivo Freestar. Allora... Tutto questo per arrivare a una propaganda di arruolamento. spent a fair bit of time in simulators just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Ah, Have fun. You must be our new applicant. Supervisor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. Qualche consiglio su come comportarmi per andare bene? Well, I can't answer that question directly. I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, Resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's repertoire. You're permitted, even encouraged, to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. Of course, you'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC science staff, right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that and you pass the exam, and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, 
If you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala to proceed on to the next step in your application process. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. All right then. Però così rubiamo e eh, io eviterei. This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. Aspetta, aspetta, allora
Riproviamo Eh la madonna, ma che cazzo? Riproviamo. 
l'ultima volta Attaccano Aspetta, aspetta. Riproviamo. Thank you. Usare gli asteroidi come... Come scudo. Ah, è impossibile, mi stanno tutti addosso. Tutti in un colpo. Cioè. Ah, vabbè. 
é impossível. Proveremo più avanti. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you welcome to take another run at the simulation. Okay. You needed something. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Mass is short for Military Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. From here, the three co-equal divisions of the UC government work together to advance the cause of the colonies. Be that through mutual defense, political and diplomatic strength, or scientific discovery. Now, serving any of the UC's divisions grants citizenship, but scientific and admin positions in the UC tend to be real competitive. Understandable, most people will prefer to earn their citizenship behind a desk rather than in combat. Not something I'd ever choose for myself, but understandable. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? You did, but your exam score and how you got there factor into how long you're going to have to serve to get your citizenship. So, you ready to review it? I like the fire applicant. Let's get into it. So, looking at the data, Checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Oh, you found the debug system in the simulator. Nicely done. Curiosity and resourcefulness are skills our recruits need. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim too. I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, factoring in that you managed to utilize all the tools at your disposal, once you've successfully completed your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? Fantastic. Then just follow me.
Ok Quindi ci uniamo all'avanguardia right doing this where we couldn't see the stars now raise your right hand the motto of the vanguard is supra et ultra above and beyond that is where we serve beyond the furthest reaches of the united colonies military and with honor and duty above reproach do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the united colonies to the best of your abilities and to uphold the values of the vanguard Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? I guess I'll take it. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau City 2 count on you? Certo. Oh, that's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite, plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Perfetto. Perfetto, perfetto, ok. Va bene, ragazzi. Io direi che il video si può concludere qua e ci vediamo al prossimo gameplay.